An emotional day in court as opening statements get underway in the Jennifer Crumbly trial. Crumbly faces four counts of involuntary manslaughter for her son's role in the deadly shooting at Oxford High School. Glad you're with us here for Local 4 News at 6. I'm Devin Scillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. Paula Tutman has been following today's proceedings from the Oakland County Circuit Court, and she joins us live with more. Paula, good evening. Hi, good evening, everyone. So we've been building what's been going on all day since 4 o'clock, then 5 o'clock. Right now, what I want to show you is how social media is actually becoming a witness in this case, a pivotal witness. But it's also important to say that given the context of why we are here, some of the video you're about to see could be very, very disturbing. Video shared by proud parents of a son mastering target shooting or a calculating killer practicing to perfection. Jurors will need to decide after seeing video in court of Ethan Crumbly, referred to in court henceforward as the shooter, of social media shared between his parents as he honed his skills at various shooting ranges using various guns. Defense attorney Shannon Smith called the Oakland County prosecutor's charges of involuntary manslaughter a band-aid attempt to make the community feel better and hold someone else accountable for the deaths of four Oxford High School students, Madison Baldwin, Tate Meir, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling, and injuring seven others. This is the video that James had sent to Jennifer via Facebook that she then posted, uh, I believe, as an Instagram story. So that's uh, James Crumbly in the white sweatshirt and gray uh, baseball hat. And then the shooter is behind him. And while it is not illegal to be a dead shot as a teenager or even to practice under the watchful eye of parents, prosecutors are now trying to draw a line that indicates that the shooter's parents were wanton, careless, and criminally responsible for the deaths of four students. The date, Oxford High School, November 30th, 2021. And indeed, according to the testifying ATF agent, the shooter was skilled and proficient. This is the shooter holding the Keltec pistol. This? Yes. Okay. And then he sends the slide forward. When he turned those and shooting skills onto his classmates, the prosecutor is trying to show a pattern of capriciousness of the parents. When it came to guns, gun handling, and the gun handling of their teenager. Evidence that there's not an adult there or anything happening. The jury is attentive, sometimes transfixed on what's being said on the witness stand. And while James's trial for involuntary manslaughter doesn't start until March, the prosecutor is co-opting Jennifer, the mother, as a willing partner in warming up a troubled teenager to guns with encouragement, and then ignoring the warning signs that he was spiraling downward. The video is absolutely chilling, and the defense attorney has strongly said, in fact, in her opening statements to jurors, she intimated, didn't say these words, but intimated that showing this kind of video is basically a cheap trick and that it has absolutely nothing to do with Jennifer Crumbly, but instead is being used to try to play on the emotions of the jurors. It will be up to the jurors to decide, obviously. But also, the defense attorney, Shannon Smith, is saying that Jennifer Crumbly will indeed, during the course of this trial, take the stand in her own defense. Guys? What a day. What a first day in court and yeah. more to come. Paula, we appreciate your report this evening.